Hello everyone, this is Manat Fine Bin Amin. Today I'm going to show you how we can print array elements reversely. And I'm going to show you two procedures. First one is I'm going to show you how to do that without using any additional function. And later I will show you how you can do that using function. So let's start. First of all, I need my header file and I'm going to use bits stdc plus plus dot h all right and using namespace std and then it's my main function and first of all let's say i'm gonna print this message for the user to enter the array size so i can tell them like this enter the array size all right and then the user provides some integer value that i will be considered as the array size so let's say i'm going to declare a variable like array integer array size and then i'm going to use console in and i'm gonna take the value from the user all right after taking the value from the user as i already have the array size i can simply create an integer array using this so i can declare my array like this integer let's say i'm gonna name it uh, error and the size would be the given array size from the user obviously and then i'm gonna take a for loop to take the values and store them inside my array all right so the array index starts from zero and it would iterate until i get every single elements of that array so i list an array size and i plus plus fine and i can take the array element in my array like arr i and then for now as i have just completed my for loop i have got all the elements and i have stored in my array right arr i and let's say i'm gonna print it in the exact order i'm getting that from my user so i can do that also like uh painting i'm simply commenting it out so that you can understand what i'm going uh, sorry, what i'm going to do here all right so printing the array in the correct order all right so i can simply take another for loop i can uh, in, start in initialization process from zero so i starts at zero and i less than array size i plus plus and i can simply print the array element and if I want to provide the user that I'm actually doing the printing section, but I'm going to print it in that order by exactly in which order the user gave me the input. So I can simply provide a simple print statement here. This is completely optional. Let's say uh, printing the, uh, the array in the original order and handle that's it print array so i can simply change the question print array elements in the given order and reversely all right so let me simply test it out i can simply run this code so let's say into the array size let's say eight and now it should tell me something let me show you all right i can simply provide another console out here to specify that i want the user to provide the array elements as input in the console all right so i can say here enter the array element all right and done that's it let me simply run it again so first of all into the array size let's eight into the array elements one two three four five six seven eight nine sorry one two three four five six seven eight eight elements so one two three four five six seven eight i need to add a space after printing each element so how i can do that i can simply add a space as a string here all right so now if i simply run this code again let's see how it works uh, for this time i'm going to use the array size as five out of the array element array elements all right one sorry one two three four five one two three four five cool so we actually got what we wanted now we need to print the array in the reverse order 
as I have already told you that uh, first of all, I'm going to print the uh, reverse order without using any additional function. And then I'm going to show you how you can do that using function. All right. So I can simply copy and paste it here and I'm going to change it printing the array in the reverse order. So I can take another for loop integer I equal to zero. Sorry, as I'm going to print the array in the reverse order, what I need to do, look carefully. All right. So let's say this is my array. Okay. So this is the first value. This is the second value. This is the third value. This is the fourth value. This is the fifth value. Let's assume that. All right. So if I'm going to simply print starting from here to here, I'm going to print it in the exact order I have got name from the user. All right. But let's say I want to print them reversely. So what I need to do, I need to print them backward. So for example, this is my fifth value. So I need to print this last value, this fifth value firstly, right? So the fifth value should be printed first, then the fourth value should be printed in second, third value should be printed in third, the second value should be printed in fourth, and the first value should be printed last, all right? So I'm going to start the for loop starting from the last one and it would reach until it gets to my first value. So the first value should be zero, zero number index. All right. So integer i should be uh, should start from RSI is minus one and it should iterate until it reaches to zero and i plus plus. All right. And now I need to simply print it out so I can use this. And I can use another console out to specify that I am printing now in reverse order in the reverse order. Let me run it again first. So the array size, let's say six this time, array element one, two, three, four, five, six. Oops, I have done a terrible mistake. Let me show you what I did actually wrong here. All right, so this is cool uh look at this for loop the array starts from array size minus one cool and it would reach from the last to the first so the value of i should be decreased one by one after each iteration all right so this should be i minus minus not i plus plus because the first of all let's say the array size is five so the last value i mean in the reverse order the first value would be array of 4, then array of 3, then array of 2, then array of 1, then array of 0, like this. So let me simply try it out, uh, try it out again. So let's say array size 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, cool, it works. Now let me add a new line here so that it looks good. Printing the array in the reverse order, I can use another slash in here. I think that should work. Let me try it out. Try it out again but this time with different values to 66 minus 8 to 1 3 4 5 in the reverse order 7 1 2 minus 8 66 2 cool so it works all right so this is how you should paint the array element in the reverse order if you want to do that without using any additional function but let's say you want to print them reversely using an additional user defined function so how you can do that let me show you right now i'm gonna simply copy this into a new file and i'm naming the file main 2.cpp and i'm simply gonna pasting it here and let's say this time i'm gonna use another uh, void function let's say void print reversely and here I need to pass an integer array and the key array. You can change the variable name here as you want. I mean, if you want. All right. So I'm going to simply take this for loop from here and I'm going to paste it here like this. So actually, that's it. And let me show you. Yeah. I have to call this function inside this print method. So what I can inside this main function. So how can I do that? I can simply call this function print reversely and I have to pass the array 
and the parent size. All right. As I have written this user defined function just after the main function. So I have to specify the function name before the main function so that it can understand that it already has a print reversely named function. All right. So let me simply try it out. Run code. Uh, let's say the array size is nine this time and let's say four five nine eight six six thirty three one forty five one two three four five six seven original order five nine eight one forty five thirty three sixty six eight nine five four so it looks cool that's how you actually do this using an additional user defined function so thank you everyone if you can understand this video and if it helps you make sure to thumbs up this video and share it with your friends if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you want to follow me in github gitlab linkedin facebook twitter instagram all i mean or in any other platform i have provided all the link in this video's description box so make sure to check that out as well and the code would be provided in the description box i would provide a github repo from where you can get every one of them all right make sure to start the repo and share with your friends as well so that's it for today thank you everyone and i'll see you in another video thank you